Uh, right here, these charts are just uh, maps of our entire plot site at the, the Farming Smarter uh, main site in Lethbridge. We've got uh, our office is right about here, so this is a college piece, and this is our irrigated section across the street. Uh, we've got one map is just broken up, and it's showing the rotation for, for all of our research blocks and uh, just how we, we organize and, and name everything for each section of land and manage each, each piece differently. Uh, the next map is uh, just a list of our pre-seeds, so anything that we've got a specific uh, pre-seed burndown to do, we're just keeping track of it there to make sure that it's done. And then the next map is whether or not we've been seeding yet. So it's uh, starting to get a little bit of green on there, but uh, it's certainly not as much as it feels like we've done. And then uh, keeping track of making sure everything gets staked and labeled properly. Today, uh, we're going to be hopping out here. We're going to finish seeding the rest of this trial here. First thing this morning should take us about an hour. We got 27 treatments of peas to, to put in, and that's for the Sarda's deep banding of a mobile nutrients project. So uh, that, that project, uh, last year we went in and uh, deep banded uh, phosphorus, potassium, and copper. And uh, so this year we're gonna go back in and we're gonna seed, uh, seed all the peas uh, without those deep banded nutrients, and then we're gonna shallow band uh, at one time rate for, for the shallow banded nutrients. At this point, uh, we've been putting in lots of wheat, barley, and peas. Uh, we've got some, some big rotational blocks for uh, uh, two different projects, two rotational studies, one with Jan Slasky, a uh, crop rotation study looking at integrating hemp and quinoa into uh, kind of traditional cropping systems, and then another bigger study with uh, Dr. Randy Kucher out of the University of Saskatchewan, and that's looking at uh, fusarium head blight management. And he, he told us we, we had a little bit of uh, fusarium here last year, which is kind of good for the study, bad for the area, I suppose. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, what happens. We're just setting up our custom plot drill. We're going to go through our pre-fight checklist and show you how we set up for a trial. Oh, thank you. So these are our four main seed boxes. One, two, three, four. This first box is for all of our small seeds, canola, and uh, we're going to use it today for inoculant. Box two is where we have our peas set up. And box three and four is normally where we put our fertilizers. So we'll put uh, 1152 FOSS in here and 4600 in the back. Uh, however, for this study, we already put down our fertilizers. So we did uh, the first year, we deep banded six inches down a three times rate of our phosphorus, potassium, and copper. And so those treatments are going to be blank this year. We're just going to seed the crop in them. And then for our shallow banded treatments, they're going to go down uh, through these two fertilizer cones. So we're going to have the, uh, the potassium uh, go down uh, side banded, and then we're going to put the copper and the phosphorus in the seed row through this cone. So each of these boxes is connected to a mechanical zero max, so this allows us to finely tune and calibrate how much seed or fertilizer we're putting down. And then we've got these sliders here to control whether or not they're open, and our boxes are split, so we can do the middle six rows, or we can do the additional uh, two outer rows if we're going to do anything fancy or if we're going to seed eight rows. So Toby and Jamie got our, our seeds set up for depth already. We're going to seed at about two inches. So we set these uh, bars on the side. These things pop up and we can move them around. And we can ad adjust our depth that way. So we got box four should be set to zero. All our flaps closed. Box three will be set to zero. Everything closed up. Box, box two. two. I think we're at 2.3 for box two, and the middle six should be opened up. And then box one, we should have at 1.89. 2.3. I'm just going to double check. I got my handy remote access here. Our tractor's fueled up. All the tires are good. Our wiring and stuff is hooked up. Hitch pin looked good. Auto steer, got to make sure that thing's loaded, otherwise we get uh, little wavy lines by accident. Our GPS, Toby's got that set up, so we're set on two and a half meters. 
We've got, uh, they set the depths on the back end already for two inches. Our cedar's looking nice and level when it's in. All of our flaps on our boxes are set and the wind should be good. We were just out seeding yesterday. So box one, two, three, four, we've got them set up how we want them. Seed and fertilizer double checked when I was up there. Our hoses and side bands look like they're all, all the way they should be. We got things color coded to make it easier. We'll go white, black, white, black, white, black with all of our hoses all the way across. So our zero maxes, we got box one and two set for our, for our inoculant and seed. And I gotta make sure our zero max is set for the cone. So this will just this will just spread the amount of fertilizer out that we need over the right area. We got these little bamboo markers we use. Bamboo markers out on the side. We're gonna stick in our crank and now we're gonna test and make sure everything's coming out the right the right openings. You wanna fire her up? It's gonna get loud. I think we're ready to go.